Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coding Writer version 3, REST API development. This is our part 4. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about define database table, connect with the application and third, test API controller methods. In the last video, successfully we had created all the methods inside this student API controller. Now firstly, we have to make our database table so that we will connect that database to our application and proceed further for the data, data manipulation. So back to Chrome browser. Now this is our local host means phmy admin. Now I am going to create a database first. So let's say that code igniter underscore rest underscore api. So if I copy this database name and click on create button. So successfully we have created our database. Now inside this db let's create our table first. So I am to create tpl underscore let's say students and it will contain about something like let's say that six columns we have. Click on go. Now this manual interface we are going to create our table. So firstly it will contain id, second name, let's say email, mobile, let's say we have called course, status and if we add one more column here so type the number of columns we want, click on go so automatically add that column inside this list so create it at now all we have now columns there so successfully we have to set now for the data type so let's say create it at it should be let's say we have called timestamp so select timestamp from this list and the default value we want about the current timestamp status should be int value default we want something one value course should be var care and the var care length let's say 150 characters mobile number let's say we have var care 15 characters of length next we have called email address so var care 50 characters of email address name value we have now this is of let's say 100 characters in length now this is all about our id as a primary key so we have to make it as a primary key so let's say it should be auto increment as well as it should be primary key now rest all the column let's say contain all about the null values now all we have done now we have defined all the columns set it types and converted our id as a auto increment primary key and rest all the columns contain about the null value now next we have to click on save button so successfully we have created our table called tbl underscore students in which we have defined these columns now i'm to create copy this table name go on sql tab and let's say that so create table and the table we have called tb underscore students and press control enter button now click on options full text click on go now this is all about the code to create that table so if i copy this table name co table code back to editor and inside this application folder or our project folder if I create a file and uh, let's say that database dot SQL file and here the database name we have called database name equal to code igniter underscore rest API and the table code we have table and this is the code we have so why I am doing this database.sql file because I am going to commit this code to github and if you want to create this table to your local system so just you have to go inside this file make this database and execute this query. So this is all about for the purpose of our github repository all we have done now with this database. Now next we have to connect with this application so copy this db name 
back to our editor. Firstly close this file. Go inside this config folder and inside this config folder we have a file called database.php. Scroll down and inside this we have to pass our username. So in my PHP my admin this is root and the password is also root and the database we have called code igniter underscore rest underscore api now we have connected successfully close this file so if i back to slide the first point we have created second point we have connected now finally for the third point we have to test our api controller methods so in our previous video if you have remembered or seen that video then these are the methods called index underscore post index underscore put these are the methods that we have created so if we want to test these methods so let's say that echo something let's say this is post method if i copy this simple message pasting right here let's say this is put method Again for the delete, let's say this is delete method, save all these changes, go inside this git method, pasting it here and this is git method. Now we are ready to test all these methods via Postman. So Postman is a Chrome extension or a native app. You can download and install your local system to test our REST APIs. So about the installation of this Postman to our local system, all we had discussed in great detail in our playlist called REST API development using CoPHP. So inside that video, you go and learn that how can we install this software inside the system. Now we are ready to execute that. So firstly, we need to paste our URL here. So if I back to folder structure, now inside this folder structure, this is our project name called codeigniter-rest-api. So if I copy this project name and firstly go inside Chrome browser and list localhost and type our project URL. Now this is all about the installation of our codeigniter version 3.1.11. Now if I copy this route means URL back to postman pasting it here now let's say that firstly after project url index.php inside this if i back to editor now in the last video we have seen that this is the complete url to access this method so all about project url after that we have called index.php and rest we have controller na name but before controller name as we know that we have placed all the controllers inside our api folder so firstly before writing our controller name we have to write our folder name first so api and this is student now if i click on send button now this is get method by typing this controller name and the method name it automatically called that method called our index underscore get method now this is something here either we can call directly via student or get request type or we can call something like this if i copy this method name back to postman and after this controller if i write index underscore get then again it will call the same method but we want about need and clean url so get rid of that now this is our url get request type send button and get method if i change to post click on that this is post method again it called something method called index underscore post again for the put send button this is put method if we click on delete this is all all about delete method now let's say that if we want if we have changed about this request type to patch as we know that this request type does not exist to our api controller so what will happen if we click on send button now this is our exception means error or let's say a simple error message that is unknown method 
so where we will get this message in our application because we have not read this we have not written this message inside this api controller so this is the message actually we are getting from this file called language english and rest controller lang.php this is the file that we have discussed if we go right here then unknown method this is the error what we are getting right here so all the exception inside rest api development will be handled and their messages respectively with this file so inside this video session guys we had discussed about that create our table connect with that application and also about testing our api controller methods so inside this video session guys if you have went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day